Good morning, everybody. This is North Carolina Prepper. Um, I wanted to try and make uh, one of those uh, little jigs so you could uh, make um, rope or cord from a plastic bottle. So what I did is I got a couple fender washers, 10 in this case, a couple bolts, a fresh razor blade from the pack, and a board to mount it all on. <clears throat> and then a knife to cut the bottle. And a marker to, well, you'll see, to, drill, to, mark, to mark things. Let's begin. First, we're going to line up how we want to set the fender washers on the board. I'm not going to bother measuring because it's got a lot of tolerances. I went ahead, drilled out the holes in the board. I've already marked where the holes are. Okay, so we got that marked out. Went ahead and just drilled them through. Then I, I'm taking out five washers. Now the amount of washers you have determines how thick your cord is. And this worked out to about, about a quarter inch. So I went ahead and put the five washers on there. I, I went ahead and put the bolt through and went ahead and tightened it on. Just, just barely finger tight at this point. And then I repeated it with the other side as well. And then um, got everything kind of lined up. I looked and saw where I wanted to adjust it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I went ahead and I inserted the razor blade. You could insert it either way, but with this blade, it was better to be inserted. Uh, backwards so we pull through it and I have um, you know four washers and then one on top to clamp it down so it says just like that go ahead and tighten it up hand tight a little bit get everything right you can measure if you want I didn't it was about a quarter inch and go ahead and tighten up the bolts on it to clamp it down and apply your clamping force alright next you're gonna take your bottle <coughs> and just cut a straight line I use the line already in the bottle so I just cut it flat right there so it would ride level on the board and then I put it in my vise and I fed it through a little bit to get started as you can see there and um, <clears throat> just want to put a little bit of downward pressure about the amount of the weight of your hand to do it and then um, you know go ahead and give it a pull it'll take a couple turns to kind of get things set up in the right uh, you could put a dowel in here. I didn't bother, but you could put a dowel in there if you wanted to, to let it spin on that. I'm basically correcting it all with my hand. Um, and then once it gets started, you can just start pulling it really quick. And it'll, it'll self-feed as long as you have that downward pressure on it. So that's pretty much it. <clears throat> it gives you all the cord here. And you could adjust the thickness. I don't know if you could do this in a printer to uh, do that, you know, for a, a 3D printer. But you could do this. Uh, I suspect it will work with a uh, can. And I'll try that later on off camera. But I'm going to go ahead and weave this into cord later in another video. But there you go. Uh, please rate and subscribe. It's a real simple thing to do. So y'all have a great day. North Carolina Pepper out.